everyone. In this slide presentation, I will be introducing to you on the topic salts. I will be going through the definition of salts and some of its properties. Can you recall what we have learned previously in the topic acids and bases? Looking back on the chemical reactions of acids, we learned that acids react with metals to give salt and hydrogen. Acids react with carbonate to give salt, carbon dioxide and water. Lastly, acids react with bases to give salt and water. So, looking at all these three reactions, what do you think they have in common? Yes, all these three reactions form salt as a product. Moving on, it is at this point in time that I would like to highlight one of the most common misconceptions that students have. Most students think that salt is sodium chloride only, which is the salt that we put in our food every day. But the fact is, there are many different types of salts in this world, and sodium chloride is just one type of salt that we know. So, let's look at some examples of salt that are found from the internet. We have over here nickel 2 chloride, copper 2 sulfate, which is commonly used in our labs. There is also lead 2 iodide, iron 2 sulfate, zinc nitrate, and calcium sulfate. And all of these are salts. So, salts come in different colors, mostly white, and they also have different solubilities, which I will teach in detail on the next slide. To put it simply, salt is any chemical that ends with the word sulfate, nitrate, or chloride. In this slide, we will learn that salts can be soluble or insoluble in water. If the salt is soluble in water, it forms a solution as shown over here. A solution can be coloured or colourless. However, it must be clear or transparent throughout. If the salt is insoluble in water, it forms a suspension as shown in this picture. So now, we will need to memorize the solubility of salt using this table. The solubility of bases and carbonates are also added in the last row. Don't worry, there is a salt to help you guys remember the solubility table too. Refer to the link in the description section to find out more. Back to the table. It is easy to memorize that all nitrates are soluble, which makes none insoluble. Most chlorides are soluble except for lead 2 chloride and silver chloride. Most of the sulfates are soluble except for barium sulfate, calcium sulfate, and lead 2 sulfate. Only the spa bases and spa carbonates are soluble. Spa meaning it contains either sodium, potassium, or ammonium ions. Most bases and carbonates are insoluble. Remember to memorize this table. You will need to apply this knowledge before you can solve certain concepts for the next few lessons. So now, Let's put our memory to test. There are three different categories and you will need to group the salts in the table according to soluble spa, soluble non-spa, or insoluble. So firstly, let's do zinc nitrate. We know that all nitrates are soluble. So zinc nitrate is a soluble non-spa salt. Secondly, we have sodium sulfate. From the word sodium, we can quickly categorize it as a soluble spa salt. Third, lead 2 chloride. If you can recall correctly, lead 2 chloride is an insoluble salt. Magnesium nitrate is a soluble non spa salt. As you can recall, all nitrates are soluble. Silver sulfate is also a soluble non-spa salt. Barium sulfate is a insoluble salt. 
ammonium chloride from the word ammonium we can categorize it as a soluble spa salt and lastly copper 2 nitrate is a soluble non spa salt and with this example i have come to an end of this presentation thank you for your attention bye